I'm actually recording early for once. Yay! What's up, guys? Welcome back to another UU Live. Today, we're going to be using a team buddy, Eric, from the NBA. Of course, he beat us in week three. Uh, if you don't remember that, go check out that match. Go check out Eric's channel as well in the uh, description down below. Heavy Metal Pokemon, really awesome content. It's all league uh, at the moment. And uh, he's a pretty good player. He's getting better and better, so I'm really impressed with him. Anyway, he passed us this team. Hopefully, we can get a, uh, a match quickly. Uh, we seem to have more luck getting a game when it's like 12 a.m., uh, 12 in the morning <laughs> than right now. But we finally got one, so I'll show you guys the sets right here. We're uh, Salt Vest, Conk Elder. Really good. Poison Jab is great for the fairies in the tier, such as uh, Sylveon and Florges. Uh Then we have a uh, Mega Blast Toys over here, Banded Entei, Spec Sylveon. Leftovers, um, Heal Bell, uh, over Aromatherapy, which is okay, it's the same thing, basically. Uh, Moon Blast, which Toxic, uh, Florges, so no Protect, that's interesting. And, uh, Life Orb, Dragon Dance, uh, Gator, which can pretty much run through, uh, any team, uh, in UU if you get up a couple of Dragon Dances, so. Very cool team, let's see how it works out. I'm actually gonna lead with Entei right here, as he decides to lead with his Fortress, which is very nice for us. If we get a burn, that would be great. Uh, we basically force this thing out on turn one, which is nice. Uh, as a matter of fact, I could probably switch into my Blastoise. I don't lose anything from doing that. So I'm going to go hard into Blastoise uh, as he goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I can just go for the... He's Water Pulse over Scald. Interesting. Uh, I guess it's a little uh, more power. But then again, you could just run Surf or Hydro Pump. Anyway, it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just go for the Water Pulse here. It has a chance to Confuse, which is cool. Uh, we're going to get this off. It's going to do 88% to this uh, Fortress. Uh, he's going to be Custap Explosion more than likely. Uh, if you hear that in the background, sorry guys, my parents decided to start mowing the lawn, like, right now. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Rapid Spin. He's gonna go for the Custap Explosion, that's fine, we take that, no problem, we're at 41. Uh, we can come in on the Umbreon later and spin, so it's not a big deal. Uh, he still has the, um, the Cloister in the back, which is a little bit scary, but at the same time, I have Aorus Fear, it can't really set up on me. Arcanine actually decides to come in, which is interesting. Uh, I can probably just go into floor just here. Are we max defense? No, we're max spadef. Okay, great. Uh, so I have no switch-ins to this. It's going to go for a wild charge and it's going to kill something. I definitely need to get uh, rocks out of the way. What do I need the least on this team? Uh, Conkelder is amazing for Umbreon, Cloyster, and for uh, the Snorlax, so I got to keep that. Uh, floor just doesn't do too much, actually. He's got a lot of specially defensive mons, so I think I am just going to sack floor just right here, uh, seeing as it's not a defensive variant. Uh, it doesn't need spadef investment, but I guess Eric felt like it did. Um, would have been able to take that a lot better, but uh, I'm gonna go for the wish right here. He should just go for another wild charge as he does, that's cool. Um, telegraphing that he's more than likely banded. Um, so I can probably go into Conkelder here. I'll be able to take this and just drain punch off on something. Alternatively, I could just knock off here predicting the Crobat to come in, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I need the Umbreon to come in at some point, but I don't have anything that lures the Umbreon in, that's the problem. Uh, his Crobat's going to come in on a knockoff that's going to do a nice amount of damage, get rid of the Black Sludge right there. Uh, we can't really hit this thing though, so I am going to have to... I think I just have to stay in and keep knockoffing, honestly. Uh, it's my only play. Goes for the Brave Bird, it's going to come close to knocking us out. With the Requo, we might be able to take him out here, as we don't, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to go for the Mock Punch right here. It is going to be able to knock him out. He can then go into his, uh, into his Arcanine and just E-Speed us, but uh, that's okay, as I think... Blastoise. Now, Blastoise won't be able to live with bandit e speed, that's for sure. Um, Conkelder's not technically gone yet because we still have the Blastoise to spin away the hazards, which I'm going to have to do at some point. Um, also, um, I'm really glad that Mock Punch took him out. Uh, also, we still have uh, D Dance Gator, which just wins once again. Uh, Arcanine decides to come in. I'm just going to Mock Punch this thing as he goes for the E Speed. Again, I'm predicting this thing to be banded, so I think my play here is actually to go into. Um, what do I go into here? I'm going to go into uh, Entei right here. I'm going to take all this damage, unfortunately, from these hazards. And uh, I think I just have to go for the Sacred Fire, honestly, on whatever wants to come in. Because uh, he can't stay in on a stone edge, potentially. Uh, he's just going to E-speed me again, so good play. I'm uh, going to get off the Sacred Fire. It's going to do a lot of damage. Um, Sylveon can definitely take an E-speed. Problem is... Okay, hold on. How do I want to play this? Uh, I have to Sacred Fire again. I can't do anything else. He's just going to go for E-speed. I know I know from the damage that he's banded. Uh, it shouldn't have done 40% to an Ente. So... Now I have to... Oh, he's Jet on this. Okay, that's interesting. Um... But he doesn't have any fighting type moves. Wonderful. 
<laughs> All right, uh, I have to go What do I have to go into here? I think I have to go into gator honestly No, no sylveon's my play Sylveon's my play every day of the week uh, I just go for a hyper voice here because basically this baits in the snorlax so uh, he can't go into Umbreon. If he wants to go into Cloyster, he risks it getting Oko'd if he's not sashed. So he can't really risk that play. And uh, if I bring him down, if he Shell Smashes and he is sashed, I bring him down to his sash and then I Aqua Jet him and knock him out. So he can't do that either. Um, can't really keep Sylveon. Don't really want to get rid of the Hazards anymore. So I should have probably sacked Blastoise at some point. Uh, he actually goes directly into Umbreon, which is interesting. I'm just going to Hyper Voice. He's going to go for Confuse Ray. Uh, he doesn't get the confusion, and we are able to knock out his Umbreon, which is awesome. Uh, I guess he's going to play off the confusion and go into Cloyster, is what I would assume. Yep, there it is, and I have to just go straight for the Hyper Voice. He's going to go for the uh, Icicle Sphere, actually. Uh, interesting play. Uh, can Blastoise outspeed you? No, for Alligator can, but uh, only after a... Well, if he's max speed, then I, I don't outspeed him. Um, yeah, I think I have to... Uh, what do I have to do here? I have to hope he misses a Rock Blast and go for an Aura Sphere. Yeah, I think that's my only play, honestly. <laughs> I have to go for an Aura Sphere and hope he misses a Rock Blast. That's the only way I'm winning this. Uh, we'll see what happens, but... He could, could just go for Ice School Sphere. I'm pretty sure it kills from this range with 5 hits. It's a base 125 move, basically. He's actually gonna go for the Shell Smash. Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna allow us to potentially win. He's White Herb as well, so this should take him out. Yep. Alright, cool. So that takes out that. And I'm actually just going to Aura Sphere this thing as well. Um, just to get off as much damage as possible. That's Stab. We get a crit, actually. That's huge. Goes for the Body Slam. And uh, do we see an item? We do. Okay, awesome. So he's not banded. Which means I can pretty much just safely go for Waterfall here and knock out this Snorlax. So, kind of a weird turn of events that my opponent decided to Shell Smash up. Um, I should have probably not won that game at all. I uh, just going to drop a GG for him because he did as well. But uh, we're able to take that first one. That's cool. Get a couple of points. Uh, not that I feel it was deserved. I really want to change this floor just set, but I'm going to keep it true to the way he gave me the team. Um, it's really, really slow, though. Like, that's that's the main problem I saw with it. Like, the, the second he sent it to me was that it was just extremely slow. And it's got nearly no bulk. I mean, AV Conk is okay, but... The thing is, uh, Floor, just, Floor just can't take physical hits because it doesn't have the physical investment to take them. It's all fully specially defensive. It's, it's insane. It can definitely take special hits, don't get me wrong. Hopefully we uh, run into a couple of uh, special Pokemon. But, like, why do you have two special walls being uh, Conkeldur and Floor just is is what I'm wondering, you know? But it's okay. Uh, my opponent has a Celebi, which, um, which is very annoying. Luckily, we're Ice Punch on for Alligator. Uh, the Empoleon's an issue as well. Uh, we do have a Conk, though. I think he would lead with Aerodactyl, to be honest. I think that's his best possible lead. So I'm going to lead with Blastoise, because it's also my best possible lead. He leads with Celebi, okay. Um, I could just switch into Floor just here. He could Baton Pass, which is, uh, I mean, Swords Dance, which is very scary. Uh, I actually just have to go for the Dark Pulse right here. If we take a Grass move, we take a Grass move. Goes for the Leaf Storm, it's going to do a lot. Uh, he's not Life Orb or anything, but uh, we're going to get a uh, not-so-big Dark Pulse because of the Cold Berry, actually. So, interesting right there. I can keep Blastoise um, if I really, really want to because it still lives rocks and it can come in and spin on the uh, Empoleon infinitely. So, uh, I am just going to go into Florges right here in case he wants to Leaf Storm again. He goes for Psychic. That's going to do absolutely nothing. And um, do I want to wish here? Or do I want to predict the Empoleon coming in and going to Conk? I think that might be my play. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, I don't really lose much by clicking Wish anyway. Because even if his Empoleon comes in, then I can switch into Conk Elder, And I believe it's Guts as well. So we're going to get off the Wish right there. Uh, and now I'm going to switch into Conk Elder Because he pretty much has to Leaf Storm to prevent my... Uh, or, no, he can recover. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, Psychic at minus 2 to Navy Conk is not going to be doing too much. I think my best move to hit him with is Poison Jab at this point. Because we don't have an item anymore. He goes into his Gyarados to lower our attack. I could have easily been Thunder Punch, but alright. Uh, do we get the Poison? We do. Okay, so that's going to be very crippling to this thing. Uh, as now I can go into our physically defensive wall that doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> Floor, just, <laughs> Floor just should be okay to take this thing on though. Uh, with its very high HP stat. He goes through the Dragon Dance. That's absolutely fine. 
Uh, I'm just going to go for the Wish right here. The Toxic is wearing him down. Luckily, we got that poison. I don't think we could have won this game without that poison right there. I think we might have just lost to Gyarados. Uh, we have a couple of priority mons, but uh, he's going to switch out into Empoleon, actually. Uh, and I fully expect this thing to just attack me. So, uh, I, at this point, I think I'm just going to switch right back into my Conkeldur, honestly. Uh, he has to click Scald, or else he lets Blastoise come back in and gain a ton of health back. So, he, he can't make that play. He can't just... Like, he's probably offensive anyway, right? Uh, that does 25%. He gets the burn, which is actually really good for us because we are guts. And, um, what play do I want to make here? I think just Drain Punch. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Celebi comes in. We do a lot to this thing. Uh, it can't knock me out with a Psychic, so I might just want to knock this thing out with a Poison Jab. He goes to the Psychic. It's not able to take us out, and Poison Jab is going to pick up the kill on Celebi right there. That's really cool. Again, I can still Wish Pass into this as well later, which is awesome. His Toxic Crook comes in. I don't know how well it's going to take a mock punch. It does resist it uh, because of the poison typing, but we are guts, so I'm just going to go for it. He may just want to sucker punch, but he doesn't. Uh, instead, he's going to drain punch his health back, which is a good play. And uh, he takes the life orb hit, which is good to see. And now I can just go into Entei and pretty much kill something because he let his Gyarados get poisoned. Entei is a pretty good play. What else is good here? Entei is my only play because this thing threatens my two fairy types, so. Uh, I can also click Stone Edge, but I think Sacred Fire is just all around the best play. Honestly, I could E-Speed as well, predicting his Sucker Punch and for him to stay in, but I don't want to do that. Um, he's going to go into his Gyarados to lower my attack. It doesn't really matter because he will die to the combination of Sacred Fire plus Poison plus another Sacred Fire, so uh, this is going to be a dead Gyarados. I risked a miss right there, but it's a 95% accurate move. Had I missed, I would have been very angry, but... Um, we do get to keep our Entei a little bit longer. Uh, E-Speed might come into play. Uh, as well, I have to prevent this thing from getting up a Moxie boost. How the heck am I going to do that? Um, by sacking Blastoise? That's not really going to work. Yeah, not having a physical wall on this team is, or anything off the ground for that matter is really, really hurting. Uh, he goes through the Earthquake. He's not going to get a Moxie boost. Okay, he was Intimidate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he was Intimidate. That's okay. Uh, I don't mind this thing as much then. For Alligator, if I had superpower right now, I would just sweep him. Um, but we don't, so I kind of have to go into... How does Sylveon take this hit? Re probably well. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into Sylveon. And um, I think just Hyper Voice, because his Empoleon is more than likely offensive. So it doesn't take this well. Uh, nothing on his team takes this well. He's actually just going to knock us straight away out with the, uh, with the Earthquake right there. So he's banded. That's what that means. I uh, probably should have predicted that, right? <laughs> Intimidate, banded, makes sense. Um, if he took out Sylveon, he's probably taking out Florges as well. Because we have less defense. No, we have a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into uh, for Alligator. He says you need ground resist. Trust me, I know I wanted to put a Crobat on this team really, really badly, but uh, Eric didn't let me. Uh, we're going to leave that Earthquake. I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance right here. And uh, at this point, I'm going to get a kill with Ice Punch, I think. Uh, he's actually going to bring in his Empoleon. Okay. Uh, do we get a freeze? No. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we also cannot flinch him, so we have to go for the Waterfall just to get off as much damage as possible. It's not really going to help, but uh, uh, he does go for the Grass Knot. So he's probably offensive uh, with a little bit of speed investment to outspeed maybe Blastoise. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. We will see. Uh, but I will go for the Rapid Spin right here. I'm going to get rid of the Rocks. I don't. Uh, I need them off, actually. I need them away so that I can go into Florges and I can wish up he has the flash cannon, it's going to do a little bit. Uh, he goes for the Scald. Does not get the burn this time, which is nice, because now I can just go for the Moonblast. The problem is the... Uh, it's not even the Aerodactyl or the uh, the, uh, the Crocodile. It's really just the um, the Toxic Croak in the back with Gunk Shot. So I'm going to wish up again. We do have Heal Bell in case he burns us, so we can, uh, we can get rid of that turn. Uh, we also lowered his special attack, which is nice, because he was in... Um, he was in Torrent, so now he's not in Torrent, so his calls are going to be doing as much, uh, about 15%. So, actually, one did 23. Was he already in Torrent at that point? Maybe. Uh, he's going to go for Scald right here. It's going to do 14, so very little. He is going to get the burn. That doesn't matter. Once again, I'm just going to go for the Heal Bell on this turn. Uh, heal that off. The burn is cured. He goes for another Scald. He gets a crit that time. Uh, we are going to wish up back to full. The crit did not matter at all. Uh, going to go for another Wish. I have to stall this thing out, guys. I know this is boring, but... Uh, I have to try. I have to try to win. 
Uh, we're gonna go for another moon blast right here. Um, why am I using both Florges and Sylveon? You know, I, I probably I asked the same thing uh, to the person that gave me the team. I'm actually gonna respond to this guy because he's kind of getting annoying. I asked the same thing to the person that gave me the team. Alright, there we go. So that's settled. Uh, I'm gonna heal bell here, obviously. I guess he's just gonna keep trying to burn us, uh, which is fine. And he keeps getting it, so that's awesome. I'm uh, gonna go for another wish right here. He goes for another scald. That's fine. Just gonna heal bell again. I gotta try to get up as high as possible in health. Uh, he's gonna scald us again. He's not gonna get a burn that time. Awesome. I'm gonna go for a wish. Let's hope he doesn't get it on this one. I need to not be burned when I kill this thing, basically. Gotta for, go for the moon blast right here. Awesome. All right, and we will be back up to full. We will see his toxic. Oh no, he brings in his crocodile. Okay, interesting. Uh, he's going to definitely just earthquake us. I'm just gonna moon blast. Uh, I don't know if it's actually gonna take him out. We live on five, so this thing is a little bit bulkier than uh, than uh, Sylveon, but yeah, that's uh, that's not gonna do enough, and uh, we are gonna lose to this crocodile right here. So, like I said, not having a uh, ground resist on this team is uh, is very very bad. So. Um, <laughs> let's uh, just get another battle right here. Might be able to get four. I'm still trying to pull out wins with it regardless, but uh, these are costing me my UU points, man. Eric, what are you doing to me? Trying to make me lose on my channel. Don't do this. So yeah, that's, uh, we're actually going to have another UU live tomorrow, guys. Um, I didn't mention that, but I'm going to do two in a row because Dom also wanted me to use one of his teams, and I'm going to try it out. We're going to be using a Dom team for our next OU live as well. Uh, so definitely check out Dom's Game Room. Uh, I mention him in almost all my videos. Uh, just type in Dom's Game Room. I leave a lot of links to his channel as well. P pretty much anywhere you see his name in my titles, just go there. Uh, so this guy's got Blastoise, Shuckle, Tornadus. This looks familiar. All right. Um, <laughs> Dom actually passed us a very similar team. That's why I say that. So uh, Needle King Rex Shot. Uh, it actually destroys us. Uh, I'm going to lead with... Um, with Sylveon here, I think. Yeah, Sylveon's probably my best lead. Uh, as he leads with his own Sylveon, I'm just gonna Hyper Voice. Hopefully we're faster, but apparently we're uh, minus one speed from regular Sylveon. Uh, he's gonna Hyper Voice us. We're gonna be able to take it. Not well, but uh, we take it regardless. Uh, now I can go into Floor just actually to resist, to, well not to resist, but to be able to take the next Hyper Voice. We don't take it fantastically, and not having Protect on this set, man, I mean just like... Ugh, I can't do anything. I gotta go for Moonblast and just knock it out. Uh, he's actually gonna go into Shuckle. Okay, that's good. That's great for us. Uh, I can go for the Toxic right here. And uh, wear this thing down slowly. Uh, and now what I can do is I can Wish. And he's going to Toxic us, which doesn't matter. I'm going to go into Blastoise here. And we are going to spin these things away. Uh, alternatively, I could also just go for the Dark Pulse because his Jellicent is more than likely to switch into this. Uh, no, I'm just gonna spin. You know what? It's fine. Jellicent does come in. That's that's okay, though, because I can just pulse. He didn't get a Toxic off, so his Hex, if he has Hex, is not gonna be doing as much. He misses a Will-O-Wisp. Very unfortunate. We're gonna get off a huge Dark Pulse right there, and uh, I have to go for it again. I don't have anything else to hit this thing with, and I need to get this spin off for the late game uh, because rocks are detrimental to me right now. He's gonna go for the Hex. It's gonna do very little. We're gonna get off this Dark Pulse, get rid of this uh, dead Pringles, and, um, what comes in now? Oh, okay, this thing, right. Um, yeah, I don't have a switch into this anymore. Uh, I do have something faster, though, which is good. And he doesn't really have a for alligator answer once it sets up, actually. Uh, I mean, I need to weaken his Blastoise, obviously, but I'm just gonna go for the spin right here. He gets a crit on the Hyper Voice. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have taken us out, so that's very unfortunate. Uh, I gotta go into, I mean, like, everything's weak to rocks, there's no hazard removal, there's nothing, this team has, oh, man, justice for what, the misses? Yeah, I guess, you could call that justice, uh, he did, yeah, he did miss two moves, uh, he's absolutely right, he's gonna switch out into his shuckle to let it go down to, uh, the sacred fire right there, um, that's not a resist, obviously. He goes into his Nido King, which I do not have a, an answer to, so I have to go into... I have to go for Sacred Fire, actually. He's go, he goes for an Earth Power. He outspeeds everything on my team at this point, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, I go into Conkeldur here. I gotta go for a knockoff and hope I get a crit or something. Uh, Mock Punch probably doesn't take out Sylveon from the range it's at. I gotta go for knock, though. 
And his uh, Sticky Web's team is going to destroy us because we weren't able to get off a of spin. I mean, we do have hazard removal, but it's such unreliable hazard removal because of uh, the fact that, uh, I mean, it's a spinner. It's, it, it gets spin blocked, and it's extremely slow. So, uh, he goes for a Sludge Wave. It does 48%. Um, do I need to keep this? No. No, I don't. Goes for another Sludge Wave. It fails to knock us out because we got rid of his Life Orb, which is good. We're gonna go for a mock right here. It should be able to take out his Nido King. I don't see him wanting to switch into anything. That wouldn't be a great play on his part. Uh, because if I did knock again, then he'd be in a bad position. Uh, we'll see though. He does let his Nido King go down. That's great because that thing was scary. Um, I think I have to knock here. No matter what, he goes for Acrobatics. That's fine. Uh, I can now go into my... Do I want to go into for Alligator? No, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. All right, going to go into Floor just here. Um, and I'm just going to go for a Wish. He should, in theory, switch out. Maybe. Maybe just go for an Acro. I don't know anymore. I really don't know what to do with this team, guys. I'm sorry I brought this. I'm not sorry because it's, it's one of my friend's teams. But, like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't win with this team. I can't play this. I can't play this fully grounded, spinning, slow spinner style of UU team. Like, this isn't what I'm used to. So, I, lo I love Crobat in this tier. Like, I really wanted to put a Crobat on here instead of uh, Florges uh, to have something to resist Beedrill. I mean, Beedrill runs through me. He gets a, a knockout with the acrobatics right there. Um, I'm going to go into Gator. And Gator can't even do anything against this team because it doesn't have anything but ice and water moves. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance. I should be able to live any hit, uh, even an Acro, and potentially knock this thing out after with an Aqua Jet. I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, and then I think we just lose, so I'm going to end the live right there, and I'm going to jump into my next one afterwards. We'll see if we can pick up this win. I very much doubt it, though. I would need to uh, get a super crit freeze thing on uh, on Blastoise, which I can't even do because of Sheer Force. So that's going to do 54%, which is absolutely nothing. And Tornadus is just going to sweep us, so that's game. Uh, I'm going to forfeit right there. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I mean, the team needs improvement. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to be perfectly transparent about it. Uh, Eric, your team needs improvement, buddy. Uh, but uh, I still enjoyed using it. Thank you for uh, letting me the team. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more lives like this. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.